munchkins and viewers alike, it's me Munchie and I have a special surprise for you today. I had to face 30 degree temperatures to go out and get my mail, but when I did, I had the package from Etsy that I had purchased. And today I just kind of want to share with you my excitement for what I got here. Now, I only got one item. But that's okay, because this item is a really big deal. Now, I have guinea pigs at the rescue. It's once in a blue moon, I swear, guys, it is. But they were taking up too much bedding, and I have to uh, deep clean it weekly, spot clean it each and every day. And so I decided I would invest in fleece. Now, even though it's gonna be once in a blue moon at my rescue, I wanted to try out fleece. Now, the fleece that I have purchased today has been lined with, I believe, U-Haul pads. And U-Haul pads are really good because they absorb. You don't want to just be putting fleece down inside your guinea pig's enclosure because they are basically walking on their own urine because it just it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't get absorbed. It's just they're walking on their own feces and it's just disgusting. So this has been lined and I get to wash it regularly and so I'm just so excited to show you what I got. Now because I know how expensive fleece can be, my rescue, I have to consider how much I want to be investing in this one-time purchase, which this one-time purchase will save me a lot of money when it comes to bedding, but I just have to be careful with what I'm getting. So I can't get anything too fancy. And I was asking around for suggestions and a lot of people listed this person on their recommended when I went to go ask, hey, who do you recommend I go to? Because we have the extra large living world pan we're currently using until I get coroplast, I kind of had to measure that out. And uh, the Midwest is around the same size as the living world deluxe extra large cage. So I went with a already made on clearance fleece liner. And it might not be the best pattern, but I thought it was pretty cool. I like the way it looked. So this is it. This is the liner. Now it looks a lot more orange in person. Maybe it's just my computer saturation. I swear it was a little bit more yellow, but that doesn't matter because I like it. But it does look like the pattern at first. I thought it was completely black. If you look closer, it's kind of a green color. And the inside of it is all black but let me just stand up and show you what it looks like it's an already made liner and I just love it already oh my gosh it looks like it's the appropriate size too I'm gonna be so happy you guys can see it too once it goes in but oh it's so plush it's so soft unfortunately nothing else came within the package itself it was just this so I didn't get any Etsy shop note that says thank you for purchasing or like a business card or anything like that but I will put up the Etsy shop name here on screen and in the description so you guys can go check it out. It says here Skeeter and Rex sewing and it says machine washable. Uh, there is some care guide instructions but unfortunately uh, they didn't give me anything with this so I will have to just go off of what I purchased you know relook it up online. I kind of like having things physically in person I kind of wish they did that but it is a okay guys it's totally fine I'm just making a little notes here because probably every shop is different but these people are from or so it is almost locally. I do adopt out to places in Portland, Oregon. So I do have a connection to Oregon. So this is wonderful. And look at the sewing here. The sewing is just incredible. This is another reason why people were recommending this person because it looks so professional. This was on clearance. And so unfortunately I didn't get a discount by spending over 35 because it was $34.99. But with shipping and handling, it came out cheaper than a lot of the already made items that they had on their website. So this was the only one in clearance. There was a Fox one that I really liked that I really wanted to get and like the day before I was about to get it somebody had purchased it. So good for you whoever purchased that Fox pattern. I loved it. But they can make anything fleece to your design and your preference. Just for me I needed something ready now. I just don't want to be waiting around until Christmas and a lot of these Etsy shops unfortunately they have such a backlog that it's very hard around the holiday seasons to actually get a lot of their product out. But oh my gosh this feels so nice. I hope they love it. So let me just go set it up and show you. Oh, uh, just a little thing too here because I just got this in the mail. Somebody actually went on our guinea pig wish list and came out and gave us a cuddle e-cup for the guinea pigs. So I just kind of want to open this up right now because I 
I think this is great. I was looking at cuddle cups um, on Etsy and I just, I couldn't really spend a lot of money. We do already have hides for them, but this, this is just great. Whoever donated this, thank you so much. It came in the mail today. There was no note attached to it, but it is a pink cup. I know the patterns are not gonna <laughs> match up. It doesn't matter. It all has its purpose for a reason. It does have a very interesting bottom. I thought that it would be kind of like this fleece that you see here, but it's more of a plushy fleece. I'll have to see if it's washable. I think it is, but it hooks to the cage so it doesn't move. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have one of those CNC wires. I have like a playpen type setup that's around the pan of the guinea pig's home, but it will hopefully stay in one place. I know they like moving stuff around. I'm probably gonna find this in a weird spot. I wanna see the two girls, Rumbles and Butters, snuggle up inside here. I'm just so thrilled and thankful. And eventually, maybe I will purchase some more on Etsy. Just, this is the holiday season time, and it's just not a good time. So, let me set everything up for you guys. All right, so after washing it and putting it in and cleaning out their enclosure, this is what their enclosure looks like right now. So, the liner is, of course, a little bit big, they do that because they want to make sure that when it shrinks, it shrinks to the correct size, um, but still quite big. I know that it was labeled as Midwest, and of course this is a living world, so there is going to be differences, um, but I just happened to fold it a little bit, but it looks great. Now, I put in the cuddle cup right there. I don't know how long it will last, but hopefully it will last a while. They haven't gotten in it yet because I just put them in, but <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I like it so much. Um, but these ladies are gonna be on stuff that's comfortable for them, and then I would just be cleaning it out every once in a while. But they seem pretty content with uh, their new setup here. And these girls, they are still in quarantine in my rescue. For those of you who don't know, Butters does have a problem. Uh, she has a problem with hair loss. She does have, we believe it's a benign cyst from what the owner said. The vets have already looked at it, said that we could probably remove it next time we're in. And there is also something inside of Butters on the right side that feels like a lump, so we don't know. And Rumble here, Rumble's gonna be going to the vets with Butters soon. Once Butters Revolution is done with, we're gonna make another vet visit and letting them know, hey, it did not work. Her hair loss just seems to be staying at the same. Her sides are still losing hair. But Rumble here, unfortunately, has a kind of a light, airy lump in the back of her shoulder blades, and it is is growing, unfortunately. So we're just gonna be taking a look for her, making sure that everything's okay. These girls are about two to three years old. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, Rumble, yeah, get in there, get in there, Rumble. But they're just really content, and I'm very happy with my purchase. So thank you guys so much for watching this little vlog update about what's currently going on with the guinea pigs. I'm just, again, super pleased that this arrived. It came in, it looks so nice. And if you are new here and would like to become a part of the Munchkin family, please subscribe. I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.